In the previous guide, we built a home automation device for just under $10 or Rs. 700. This is the second part of that video where we are going to set up the Google Assistant, the Alexa and the mobile app to control the home appliances with our DIY home automation device remotely. So if you haven't watched that video, click here to watch it now or use the link of the video given in the description. So let's start and configure the Google Home, Alexa and the mobile app. So first, we are going to set up the Google Assistant and for that, we need to go to ifttt.com. Uh, we need to sign up using our valid email ID and then we need to sign in at ifat and create our first applet. Now to do so, click new applet and then click this search for the google assistant and click on it click connect and then connect the google account that you use on your google home device or on your android phone and grant the permission asked by the app now click say a simple phrase and simply enter the phrase such as turn on the fan and enter two more variation or the way to say the same thing and in the response from the google enter anything such as turning on the fan or fan turned on anything that you want to hear as a feedback or as a response from the google when you say turn on the fan now click create trigger and then click that and search for the adafruit click connect and then connect the adafruit account and authorize the adafruit account just like you did with the google now after authorizing, choose the relevant relay from the relay from the options uh, such as relay 2 for the fan and in the data to save, enter on. Then click create action. Now verify the trigger and the action and then click save. Now we have created an applet for turning on the fan. Now we need to create an applet for turning off the fan. So click new applet again and click this. Choose the Google Assistant from the search and click say a simple phrase. Enter the phrase to turn off the fan and then a feedback phrase you would like to listen from the Google Assistant in response. Click create trigger and then click that. Choose Adafruit and the relay to and then in data to save uh, enter off and then click create action and then review the uh, applet and click save. That's it. In a similar way, create triggers for the Google Assistant and action with the Adafruit relays that you have set up on your Adafruit account for the lights and other appliances or the feeds that you have created in the part one of the video. Once you are done creating the applets for all your devices, unlock your Android and say the same phrase to Google Assistant. You will see that the relays turn off and off at respective commands. Now let's move and set up Alexa. So if you own a Fire Stick or the Echo device such as Echo Dot, Echo Plus, you can control this DIY project without modifying a single thing. Now to do so, log in again to your IFAT account and click new applet. Click this and then search this time Alexa and click on it. Connect the Alexa app to your Amazon account that you use on your Echo or the Fire TV. Then authorize and click say a simple phrase. Now enter the phrase in the lower case such as turn on the fan and then click create trigger and click that and search for Adafruit. Click on that, choose a relevant relay feed and in the data to save value enter on. Then click create action, save the applet. Now in a similar way, you have to create uh, triggers and the actions for turning off the fan and other devices with the relevant relay feeds from the Adafruit. Now once you are done, just like the Google Assistant, simply say Alexa trigger turn on the fan or Alexa trigger turn off the fan. Yes, you have to use the trigger suffix uh, before the command, before saying any command to make Alexa understand and in response Alexa will say only a single thing sending that to ifat. If you listen that that means your command has been sent to your DIY home automation device. If you say turn off the fan your fan will be turned off. 
So just test it and check it if it's working. Trigger turn on the fan. Sending that to IFT. Trigger turn on the light. Sending that to IFT. Finally, we will be setting up the mobile app and for that we need to download an app from the Play Store. So install the MQTT Dash app. The link is given in the description or you can just search on the Play Store directly. Open the app and then click the plus icon at the top. Enter the name of the dashboard. You can name it anything that you want such as storeroom or the living room or wherever you are going to install this DIY project. In the address enter io.adafruit.com and in the port enter 1883. Then scroll down and enter the Adafruit username in the username field and in the user password paste your AIO key. Then click save icon at the top to save the dashboard configuration. Now we need to add switches to this dashboard just like we did in Adafruit account. So tap on the dashboard that you have just created and then tap on the plus icon at the top. Now select switch slash button and then enter the name of the switch such as ceiling fan. And in the topic sub type your Adafruit username followed by feeds slash relay to. So for example, I'll enter tech post slash feeds slash relay to for the fan. Now tap enable publishing and paste the same topic which is tech post slash feeds slash relay to. In your case, you will be replacing tech post with your Adafruit username. Then in the on field type O N and in the off field type O double F. Tap on the white box to choose the relevant icon for the fan when it's turned on and icon for the fan when it is turned off. After selecting the relevant icons, just tap on the save icon at the top. That's it. In a similar manner, you have to set up switches for the other two appliances also. And if you are going to add more than three appliances, you can set up all those appliances in this app just like you did for the fan. After setting up all the switches, all you have to do is tap on a particular switch to turn the relevant relay on and off and you can check it directly. Just make sure your device is connected to the internet and the internet is completely working. Even if it's GPRS, you will be able to control it because MQTT is a very light protocol. So that's all we need to do to set up the Google Assistant, Alexa and the mobile app to control our DIY home automation device. For the temperature, tap plus icon and then select range slash progress. Enter the topic sub as your Adafruit username slash feeds slash temperature. Then in the minimum, enter 0, 0.0 and in the maximum, enter the value 100. Uh, so 0 to 100 will be the temperature uh, difference. Then in the post fix, type degree C because we'll be measuring it in centigrade and this uh, sensor measures it in Celsius and we have used that code. If you want to see it in Fahrenheit, you'll have to modify the uh, code a bit. Uh, there will be some calculation going on in the code and I have already added that you just have to modify that a bit and then enter the precision value as one and select the progress bar color. Then check the checkbox retained. Finally, tap on save icon at the top and in a similar way, you have to set up a range progress for the humidity with percentage post fix sign. And uh, that is everything we need to do to complete our home automation voice and manual control. You can test it and let me know if you are able to set it up and how soon. Okay, Google, turn off the music system. Turning off the music system. Okay, Google. Turn off the lights. Turning off the lights. Also, if you have any feedback related to how I'm creating these guides, let me know. Also, let me know if instructions are clear or do I need to explain more or less or so that I can improve upcoming guides also. 
I try hard to make such complex tasks easier for the normal users, non-technical users, but any feedback will be much appreciated guys. So with that said, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Like this video and share this video to help others learn something new every day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.